I shot a wedding yesterday. That was like 12 hours or something about shooting a 12 hour wedding day. The next day you just feel like you're hit by a train like all day long. I, I, got, I got plenty of sleep. I just, there's just something about it. Also this hotel breakfast is a uh, me. So they had walnuts, pecans and chocolate. I made my own trail mix. It's pretty good. I have a seven hour drive ahead of me. I wanted to soak up a little bit of the town that I'm staying in, Fort Wayne, Indiana, before I go. You see that? That's a helicopter. The building has a helicopter on it. by my hotel. It's great, it has a lake and a cool little bike path. So I got this comment a couple of days ago and I've been thinking about it. And the comment was basically saying this person or this individual is jealous of anybody that can afford Zildjian K's with the K-Line. They are expensive, they're not as cheap as some alternatives. But for what you get, I don't think that they're too crazily overpriced. For me, I've always played K's even when I wasn't making any money doing music and I had to save my money from working at Best Buy or whatever other retail job that I had to, to buy what I what I wanted. So I've always kind of approached it. If I want something, I'm just gonna I'm gonna save and get the exact thing that I want instead of getting something that is less quality. And I feel like in the long run you actually save money because you're not spending that money over and over again fixing broken symbols and having to buy new ones. Check out this bridge. And like I said, that's just my personal opinion on the subject. You can have a completely different opinion and that's fine. That's why there's so many different companies and uh, that's why there's so many options. You can choose what you want to do. That's just the way I've always approached it. It's much colder here than it is in, in Nashville. Like I have a jacket and a jacket and pants on and I'm a, uh, I'm not warm. Geese. chainsaw right there just fell out of the uh, out of a truck what a nice guy he got the chainsaw out of the road for, for that dude also that road uh that road was packed when I came in uh, a couple days ago This might be an unpopular opinion, but I, I think that the best time of the week to explore anywhere is Sunday morning. It's not a lot of people, the traffic's not too bad, and you can pretty much do whatever you want and be okay. It's a theory I completely agree with and it's Okay, it's 10.30, I should probably hit the road. I asked the front desk what time checkout was and they said 12, and that's tempting, but that means I wouldn't get into Nashville till like eight. Time to hit the road. Okay. I think, uh, I think that's everything. Gas. Yes. 